what we're gonna be painting and focusing on again is the exterior of the aircraft. Now I don't have any Revell paints per se, but I'm gonna be using equivalences and that's what I wanted to briefly talk about. If you don't have the exact paint that you're supposed to have, just go with the closest match. Don't really bother that much about accuracy, especially when you're beginning, just go the closest the thing that you have. The set of paints that you got with the model, if you bought a set, is gonna be just fine. Familiarize yourself with the paint that you're using and only then when you know how the paints react, how the paints are supposed to be manipulated, then go ahead and try to buy some other paints from other manufacturers because paints differ from one another and they're gonna be differing from the time they need to dry, to the way they mix, the way they spray, the way they brush, the way they thin down. Chemical composition. It's really very complex. You can easily get bogged down if you have too many items. Trust me, I've learned it the hard way because I had Vallejo and AK Interactive and MIG Ammo and Tamiya and Ravel and Humbrol and Mr. Hobby. And basically, I had a lot of paints, different paints, and. I would pre predominantly use Tamiya paints, but then again, I would switch to AK and then MIG, and sometimes they have different uh, drying times and mixture ratios, and it's just a mess. So my advice to you is stick with one when you get familiar with the paint, and if you're not happy with the colors, change them. Otherwise, stick with the ones you have. For this particular build, however, I'm gonna be using one of these sets that come from AK Interactive, and they're basically for Mr. Smith BF109s. And you can buy this set or any equivalent sets from other paint manufacturers. I just happen to have this. And as you can see, we have four paints here, which are most commonly found on BF109s because of their camouflage. And for this build, we're basically gonna be using this, this, and this. So we have uh, yellow, this gray green, the blue for the bottom, and I had to buy an additional paint because it's not included in this kit, and this is this dark gray green, which is this paint. So we have this here, we have this, this paint, we have the blue on the side and the yellow on the nose. Also, because I'm gonna be painting this aircraft in two different ways, I want to show you another set of paints, again from AK Interactive, but you can either have Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color, these are basically very similar paints are acrylic lacquers and they're fantastic for spraying for an airbrush but not so great when applying with a brush. Again, I have very, very similar paints to what I've just shown you and are yellow, gray, green, blue and dark green. And these are the paints that we're gonna be using in this particular build. So let's move on.